Well, Petey, you went from looking for your first pro goal to having four of them in the span of two second periods. What has been the secret formula this weekend for you? Um, I think like going back a couple of weeks, um, kind of since like prospect, um, the showcase there, just like working, working on like being as simple as possible, you know, watching a lot of video with, with Kano and with YZ and, and modes and, and all the coaching staff. Um, and just like simplifying my game and it seems to be working, like putting myself in better spots to, to make plays. You guys entered tonight in a position where you're without Zach Dean, you're without Huma Ging, two pretty key pieces to the forward group. And Cal was saying the message down the lineup was ch opportunity and chances for guys to step up, and your line in particular seemed to do that. When you come in and you, you're facing that reality of not having two of those key pieces, I'm sure it, it stinks to have that, but at the same time, you probably realize you're going to get a few more opportunities out there. How important was it for you guys to set that tone in their absence? Yeah, I obviously miss, miss those two guys. They're, they're huge parts of this team, but um, yeah, like like Connor was saying, opportunity. We had we had you know guys step up. You know, Kirks, um, Dicky, um, Pfizer. You know, playing on the top line there. You know, everyone's so good. Um, you know, in, in this league, that um, when when you get a chance to to step up and and you know play and, and be on a, on a good line like that, you know, they're, they're going to take advantage of it, and they did, and, and, you know, so that's what you saw out there. From your college days, you obviously know how hockey crazy the New England area <laughs> is, but having a little taste of it at the end of last season and a taste to start this season, just how much of a home ice advantage do you guys get off this crowd? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I was talking to Cal, um, actually this morning, like, going home, and I was like, it's so easy, like, coming here and, like, pl playing in front of the fans and just make it, like, you know, especially these three and threes when, you're, when your body's starting to, you know, hurt and uh come come home and it's just it's easy it's not it's not hard like they they bring so much energy that we just feed off it colton ellis was big for you guys tonight what can you say about his performance unbelievable he made some huge saves that you know i don't even know how he stopped but um he, he bailed us out a ton there and uh yeah just incredible performance so i'm really really happy for him can you talk to me about about your second goal and sort of how you saw the play unfold and how you were able to execute on it yeah, um, we've been working on like three high, staying three high a lot. Um, so uh, I think our D pinched there and Cal made a read, um, filled in for him. And once I saw that, um, I think I saw Caskey going right to the front of the net. So I kind of came out a little bit um, to see if I get a stick on it. And yeah, I ended up hitting my stick and, and going in. So it was good. How did, you get a feel, how did it feel to get a bounce back victory after last night's loss against Providence, which is always tough? Yeah, they're a good team and uh, they're really never easy to play against. But you know, last night I thought we had a really solid effort, um, you know, 6-5 game. Like, those are, you know, kind of a shootout and um, could have could easily went our way. But just shows um, what kind of group we have in here come, coming home and, and, and protecting home ice. Was there any part of you today that, that wanted the hat trick or do you not care about individual stats and awards? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you want the hatty for sure, yeah. Like, when the, at the end there when that puck sprang loose, I was, I was a little bit, panicky like I was like oh this could happen here but um, no I mean at the end of the day it's it's just about winning and you know if we can do that then I'm more than happy. Can you just talk about that first goal he scored? Um, yeah it was just a scrum in front and it, I kept on seeing it like be loose and refs, refs were on top of it made uh, made sure that you know they could see it and um, you know they kept the play alive and um, I just poked away at it and ended up going in so.